Hello everyone. With my classes being on break for the past month, I've had quite a lot of time to finally catch up on all the movies and TV shows that I've been meaning to watch. As I'm sure you've noticed, I've actually been uploading to my channel, and with the schedule I have currently, I should have a full form video out around this time next month. But in between all this, I've watched a bunch of TV shows, and to be honest, a lot of them I really didn't like, but none of them were so bad that they justified me making a full video on them. So I decided to bunch a bunch of them together and make them into one video. Grand Blue or Grand Blue Dreaming is a show I have very mixed feelings about. Published by Zero G and based on a manga by Kenji Inoue, Grand Blue is a comedy series along the same lines of Gintama, except a lot more toned down. The main character Iori goes to the university and joins the diving club, in which wacky antics ensue. This show really doesn't have too much of a plot, it's more episode by episode based, focusing a lot more on the comedy more than anything else. Personally, I didn't like it for one main reason. Like I said before, this is a comedy show. But, to be honest, I didn't find it really funny. Grand Blue strikes me as the kind of show I would have loved when I was 14, but now with my humour more matured, it is something that I unfortunately cannot get the pleasure of watching. There is nothing inherently wrong about the show, everything else is fine, I just personally couldn't enjoy it, and for that reason, I'm going to give this show a 5 out of 10. Oidokoi or Love is Hard for an Otaku, published by A1 Pictures in the spring of 2018, was really disappointing. Based off a web manga illustrated by Fujita, Oidokoi is a romance story about two childhood friends, Hirotaka and Narumi, who meet up years later at their new job and begin dating. Unfortunately, I didn't really like the show too much. Most people who have seen the show or even recommended it to me sold it as this romance anime that didn't follow the same old plots like most shows in its genre do, but unfortunately, I can't say the same. That is not the case, and for what I saw, it just felt like any other old high school anime. But instead of a high school, it was just a workplace. The plot is boring and predictable, the romance never feels like it's going anywhere and has any sort of progression, and none of this is helped by the characters. The main character, Hirotake, is basically this walking blank whiteboard of a character who shows no emotion or personality 99% of the time, making him almost impossible to relate to. And for that reason, I'm going to give this show a 4 out of 10. And the final show I'm going to be talking about is Koi Kimo. Published by Nomad earlier this year, Koi Kimo is a show that made me very much uncomfortable. And if you've seen the show, you probably know why. Based on a manga by Magusa, Koi Kimo is another romance anime about Ryo, who falls in love with his sister's best friend Ichika, and they start a sort of will-they-won't-they they relationship. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, what about this made me so uncomfortable? Well, you see the thing is, Ryo is 27 and Ichika is 17. This show was quite controversial when it came out and I can see why, and judging by the reviews, people either seem to love it or hate it, but unfortunately for me, I really didn't like it. Quick Emo came off to me as kind of creepy. Ryu is a grown man romantically pursuing a high school girl by constantly pressing her boundaries, stalking her, and taking photos of her without her consent, with her constantly telling him to stop, which he doesn't. I understand that the laws of Japan are probably a lot different to where I grew up, but where I grew up, this kind of stuff isn't normal, which just made it feel creepy to me. And no matter how hard I tried to look at it objectively, I just could not get this out of my head. I understand that it's a work of fiction, and I don't blame anybody if you like it, but personally for me, it just made me weird and uncomfortable. And for that reason, I'm going to give this show a 2 out of 10. 